Hello everyone, and welcome to this edition of NASCAR Underdogs, Lenny Pond. Lenny Wayne Pond is a former NASCAR Cup Series driver. He won Rookie of the Year honors in 1973, and he won his only career Cup Series race at Talladega in 1978. Pond drove for a variety of different owners throughout his career as a journeyman driver. This video will take you through it from start to finish. In the mid-1950s, Lenny began his racing career on local dirt tracks, racing modifieds. Then he switched to asphalt tracks. Then in 1969, his ma he made his NASCAR Grand National debut, driving the number 44 Chevy for the Gossetti brothers. At Rockingham, he finished 34th. The next season, in 1970, he made one more start, this time in a number 65 Chevy, driving for Joe Phipps in the spring in Atlanta, finishing 34th. Lenny didn't race at all in NASCAR for the next two seasons, until 1973. For the 1973 NASCAR Cup Series season, Pond was behind the wheel of an Elder Rainier Racing's number 54 Master Chevy Sales Chevrolet, full-time. His best start was 5th in the fall at Martinsville, and his best finish was 4th in the summer at Bristol. Overall, he scored 0 poles, 0 wins, 1 top 5, and 9 top 10s, finishing 23rd in final points, as well as winning Rookie of the Year honors. They attempted all but 4 races out of 28, and they qualified for every one that they tried to. In 1974, Lenny Pond returned to the Elder Rainier Racing number 54 Chevrolet. They ran 21 races out of 28. His best start was third in the spring at Nashville Fairgrounds. His best finish was fourth in the spring at Richmond. Overall, he scored zero poles, zero wins, five top fives, and 11 top tens on his way to 18th in final point standings. The following season, in 1975, Pond once again was behind the wheel of the Elder Ray Rainier Racing number 54 Master Chevy Sales Chevrolet. The team ran the majority of the races, running 22 out of 30. His best start was second in the spring at Charlotte. His best finish was second three times in both races at Richmond and in the fall at Bristol. Overall, he scored zero poles, zero wins, six top fives, and nine top tens finishing 21st in final points. Lenny landed Pepsi-Cola as a primary sponsor for his number 54 Chevrolet. He actually ran every single race in that 1976 season. His best start was fourth in the summer at Michigan, and his best finish was second twice in the fall at Rockingham and Ontario. Overall, he scored zero poles, zero wins, 10 top fives, and 19 top tens, en route to fifth in final point standings. This would end up being his best points finish in his career. After a strong season in 76, Pond still lost Pepsi as a sponsor on his NASCAR Cup Series car, forcing him to cut way back on his schedule. In 1977, he only made 14 starts in his elder Rainier Racing number 54 Chevrolet. His best start was ninth in the fall at Darlington, and his best finish was fourth twice in the spring at Martinsville and Charlotte. Overall, in 14 starts, he scored 0 poles, 0 wins, 4 top 5s, and 6 top 10s, finishing 30th in final point standings. Now, in 1978, Ronnie Elder sold his share of the team to Harry Rainier, making the team Rainier Racing. So, he was in the number 54, Wynn Incorporated Chevrolet, and they also ran Oldsmobiles. His best start was first, 5 times, both races at Martinsville, both races at National Fairgrounds, and Bristol in the fall. His best finish was first in the summer at Talladega. This was his first and only NASCAR Cup Series victory. Overall, he scored five poles, one win, 11 top fives, and 19 top tens on his way to his second and final career top 10 points finish in seventh. Even though Pond had a breakthrough season in 1978, he still was looking for a new full-time ride in 1979. He started the season making two starts in a number 54 Chevy for Al Rudd Auto. His best finish was 14th at Richmond in the spring for him. He made five starts throughout the season for the number 19 Gray Racing. His best finish was 11th in Darlington in the spring for that team. Lenny made the remaining eight starts of the season that he made in 1979, driving a number 12 for Kenny Childers Racing. His best finish was ninth twice in the spring at Dover and Charlotte. Overall, in 15 starts, he scored two top 10s, finishing 29th in final points. Once again in 1980, 
Lenny Pond was basically floating from ride to ride through the garage area. He, he made two starts in the number 75 Raymock Enterprises car with the best finish of ninth in the spring at Daytona. Next, he made a couple starts in the number 68 for Jim Tester Racing at Darlington and Talladega, finishing 6th and 4th. Then he made one start at Charlotte in the spring in a number 12 for Kenny Childers Racing, finishing 41st. Then, Lenny made one start in a DK Auric number 40 Buick at Daytona, finishing 11th. Pond ran 11 out of the final 12 races for Jim Tester Racing in their number 68, Kings Mountain Truck, Plaid Chevrolet. Um, his best finish was third in the fall at Richmond. Overall, he scored zero poles, zero wins, two top fives, and seven top tens, on his way to 30th of final points. For 1981, Pond began the season making two starts in Jim Tester Racing's number 68, Burger King Buick. His best finish was 11th in the spring at Richmond. He made one start in the number 24 for Cecil Gordon at Charlotte in the spring, finishing 11th. Jim Testa sold his number 68, the five racers J.D. Stacy Buick race team to Lenny Pond for the second half of the 1981 season. He made nine starts as an owner driver in that number 68. His best start was 11th at Talladega and his best finish was 14th at Brist in the fall at Bristol. In 1982, Lenny made 10 starts in Gordon Racing's number 24. His best start was 23rd at Talladega in the spring, and his best finish was 10th in the spring at Darlington. Pond also made three starts in James Hilton's, James Hilton's number 48 Palantine Auto Parts Chevrolet. His best start was 26th, and his best finish was 9th, both in the fall at Rockingham. Overall, he scored two top 10s. Now, Pond continued to jump from ride to ride throughout the 1983 season as well. He ran both Daytona races and the Fall Richmond race in the number 51 Buick for Tom Beck. His best start was 30th in the Fall in Richmond, and his best finish was 10th in the summer at Daytona. Also, Lenny made four starts in James, Hil James Hilton's number 48 Palantine Auto Parts Chevrolet. His best start was 20th in the spring at Martinsville, and his best finish was 12th in the spring at North Wilkesboro. He made one start in the number 52 Broadway Motors Chevrolet for Jimmy means at Michigan in the summer, finishing 22nd. His final two starts of the season were for Billy Matthews' number 42 Buick. His best start was 25th, and his best finish was 8th. The next season, in 1984, Pond started out the season driving for Morgan McClure Motorsports, number 4 Jim Testa Chevrolet's Chevrolet. He made four starts for the team. His best start was 19th in Rockingham, and his best finish was 13th in the spring of Daytona. He made one start in a number 78 for Jim Testa at Darlington, starting 22nd and finishing 38th. Dave Marcus had Pond drive his number 71 Jim Testa Oldsmobile for the final seven races of the season. His best start was 19th in the fall at Rockingham, and his best finish was 9th in the fall at Martinsville. This would end up being his final top 10 finish in the NASCAR Cup Series. Overall, he scored two top 10s, finishing 38th in final points. That following season in 1985, Lenny made the first four races of the season driving for James Hilton's number 48 Chevrolet. His best start was 15th, and his best finish was 13th in the spring at Richmond. He ran the fall Richmond race for James Hilton in a number 49. Then Lenny Pond made seven starts, in, in the number 17, McCord Gasket Chevrolet. This was for Roger Hamby. His best start was 23rd in the spring at Michigan, and his best finish was 13th in the summer at Pocono. Overall, he didn't score any top 10s, but he did score eight top 20s. Pond didn't make another start in NASCAR in the NASCAR Cup Series until the spring of 1988. That's when he made one a one-off start in <clears throat> number 22, Hesco Exhaust Systems for Roger Hamby at Richmond, starting 31st and finishing 22nd. His final NASCAR Cup Series start was in the fall of 1989 at Richmond, driving the number 90 V8 Vegetable Juice Ford for Jenny Dunleavy, starting 25th and finishing 11th. So, in 234 NASCAR Cup Series starts, 
Lenny Pond scored one pole, one win, and 88 top 10 finishes. His best points finish was fifth in 1976. He drove for a variety of teams throughout his career as a journeyman driver. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of NASCAR Underdog. Thanks for watching, everyone, and take care.